these foreign women are snatching up all of the good men. You all, I don't know if you all are paying attention and scoping out the trends and the patterns, but I am. And when I look around, all I am seeing is this. And this should be very alarming for all of you women, especially right here in America, but especially my sisters. Yes, black women, you should be the ones really scattering, really in a frenzy, because if you pay attention, you'll start to notice and you'll start to see that it is the majority of the black men that are being recruited by these here women. And what makes it even more scary is the fact that the men are actually biting the bait. Yeah, they are. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. These foreign women, they are absolutely talking a good game and walking a good game. See, they are doing more than just telling these men a bunch of fluff, a bunch of fairy tales. No, there's proof out there of them actually being the fit, feminine, friendly women that these men are calling for, that these black men specifically are asking for. And what makes it worse is the fact that I, I got to be honest enough to say that the things that they are selling to these men are very basic, very generic, you know, like being fit, feminine and friendly. Those are basic requirements. Being a woman that is nice basic requirement being a woman that is pleasant to be around a woman that supports her man a woman that understands her role as far as being a help me i mean it's it's very simple it's very basic and these men are going overseas or you know exploring different options based upon those very basic requirements alone you know and here's the real catch to it all these women are getting the world from these men just by delivering to them these basic things, right? These women are being put up very nicely, not having to work, not having to stress, not having to worry. Their whole worlds are taken care of. And you know what makes this even more tragic? What makes it even more tragic is the fact that a lot of us have refused to do these very generic, basic things that these foreign women are selling these men on. And now here we are alone, mm -hmm, struggling, scrambling, trying to make ends meet when it's just not going to happen. All right. I don't know if you all are noticing, but there's inflation, okay? The pay is going down, all right? And as women, we are not naturally designed to have to go out here and work real hard and build and provide and protect. and all. It's too much. This is why we ultimately need the men, okay? And outside of needing the men for those things like, you know, providing, protecting, leading, and teaching, but we really need these men for love, connection, affection. Our nature yearns for those things as well, all right? And so with us losing our men to these foreign women and all they're doing is basic things that is having these men pack up their entire lives and wifing them up and starting whole new lives overseas. I mean, you all should be afraid, okay? You all really should.
You should be afraid for not only yourselves, but for your children. Hell, a lot of y'all won't even be married or have children or families at all. Due to a lot of the men being done, especially with American women. Westernized women is not looking too good. And as somebody who is a strong advocate for black men and black women coming together and building, this really breaks my heart because I can speak from firsthand experience as a happily married black woman to a beautiful black man. I can tell you right now here today, it's amazing. It is blissful. It is peaceful. You know, there's nothing like it. Nothing can compare to it. And I would love to have more women around me, more sisters around me, more specifically, that could experience the same bliss, peace, happiness that I am able to live out and experience for myself. But with so many of us in particular not being in alignment, you can't be mad at these men for exploring different options. This right here is my big brother, El Guapo. Shout out to him. You all feel free to check out his channel called Beautiful Lies, um, where he really gives black men in particular the game as far as being a passport bro um, and, you know, living your best life, leveling up, um, really just being the best man that you can be overseas. You know, he's really showing black men in particular that you don't have to settle. You don't have to just be stuck and stagnant where you are. There's a broader world outside. And him, himself, have tried. He's even married Black women before. And for whatever reason, they blew it. They fumbled. And my big brother, El Guapo, he is the type of Black man that a lot of us women would love to have in our lives. He's successful. He is productive. You know, he's a wise, intelligent man. You know, he has a lot of motion, a lot of things going on for himself. And on top of that, guess what? He's a great provider, right? You wouldn't have to be out here working so hard or at all. <laughs> but like so many others, okay, El Guapo has decided enough was enough. And now he himself has explored a Colombian woman, okay, to my recollection, and he's happier over there. And my big brother El Guapo will tell you himself, he would have loved to be with a black woman, a sister, but we keep messing up. Let's take a listen. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let's listen to El Guapo from Beautiful Lies break down to his sisters that he would have loved to be with, okay? Where they are coming up short and how they could ultimately fix it. Because a lot of these passport bros that are brothers, they still got love for us. They still care about us. And like I said, a lot of them would actually prefer to be with black women. But a lot of us don't check the marks. Let's get into it. Get the likes up. Ladies, I want to try to break this down to you so that you can understand it. So many men have tried to explain this to you, but I don't think that you get it. I don't think you get it. I've been married three times. My first two marriages were to beautiful, educated, black women. Nothing really negative to say about either one of them. My current wife is Colombian. Now, she's not going to like this when I say this, but she is not Afro-Colombian. She is dark white, as she likes to profess, a white Colombian woman with a lot of flavor 
I love her. Shout out to LaBea. My wife is highly educated. She was a professor in Columbia before she came to the United States. She has a master's degree, almost done with her second. My wife, when we got married, was making six figures. That soft girl era that you ladies want, deep down, when the lights go off and nobody is around to judge you or to tell you, girl, you need to be a part of the sisterhood and we got to fight the power. When the lights go off, that life that you truly want, my wife has. I'm going to flex a little bit. I had to, I live in Maryland. I had to drive to Virginia today for work when I came back. My wife came downstairs in a bathing suit and a towel. And she had our son, Guapito, in his little wetsuit. I said, oh, baby. I said, uh, what are you guys doing? You getting in the pool? You know what she said to me? You know what LaBea said to me? LaBea was like, yeah, mm, we don't have anything else to do, so I guess we'll get in the pool. <laughs> the true and real soft girl era. When my son was born, I sat my wife down and I said, baby, you don't have to work anymore. Now we're going to pause it right there. This is a longer clip. Shout out to El Guapo, but are y'all listening to what he's actually saying? Y'all black women should be sick. You lost out and missed out on a good one. And he said that, look, I've been married three times. My first two marriages were two black women. What else did he say? He said, and I don't have, you know, many bad things to say about either one of them. And I'm going to be honest. When I hear my brother say that, and he took that small little pause like that, I believe that. And brother El Guapo, you can make, you can correct me if I'm wrong if I'm making a mistake about this, but it seems to me that there were some things that they missed the mark on, but due to his high level of respect, right? For black women and the mother of his children, because I believe he does have children by those black women. Um, he's choosing not to divulge certain information. You know, and to me, that's a testament to the fact that a lot of these brothers, they do hold black women in a high regard. It's not like they're out here just hating black women and, you know, all of that. Like, no, they love black women. It's just we're missing the mark on levels that need to be hit on. Right. Like it, we're missing the mark on things that matter. We're, we're missing where it counts. And so he's trying to be respectful you know, towards the sisters that he was married to by saying, well, I don't have anything bad to say about him. But I guarantee you, okay, if he were to be completely transparent about maybe the hiccups and everything that he experienced, which is why he's divorced from those women, it would be very eye-opening and very telling, right? It would probably be along some of the same lines that we see a lot of Black women fall short on, you know, in our everyday lives all the way around us. So I just want you all to pay attention to that because so many times we would like to write off these brothers that do explore different options as black woman haters and, you know, all of that. When that couldn't be any further from the truth, like these brothers, they prioritize the sisters first. We blew it. We missed the mark. And if you listen further, he's also illustrating the fact that his Colombian woman that he's married to now, you know, she was highly educated, just like his uh, previous wives that were black. You know, she was somebody that was making a lot of money, probably like his previous wives and everything. But what was the difference? The difference was, I'm sure, 
that his wife now respects him, appreciates him a lot more. She's not trying to rub those credentials in his face. Use it as a means to make herself be placed on a higher pedestal than him, whatever the case may be, like a lot of black women do. And I gotta be honest, and y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I gotta be honest. The more attractive a black woman is, the more degrees she has, the more money she makes, the more inclined she is to disrespect the man that she's with. The bigger her ego is. Whereas these other women, they can have a lot going on for them, but they still know the role. They still know their place. And they actually want to add on to a man's life with whatever credentials that they do have. So it's not this competition type of deal. It's complimentary. My credentials should be complimentary to you for us. Not so that I can rank myself higher than you. And I got to be honest again and say, that's what a lot of black women do. Now, El Guapo, he probably is not going to be that forthcoming with that type of information out of respect for his previous black woman wives. But I'm sure they probably did that, which is why he ultimately left. Now he's with a woman to where she has a lot of motion, but she does respect him. She does honor him. And due to that, he is repaying her by gifting her a life of luxury, a life of relaxation to where she does not have to worry about anything. But let's continue. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. My wife has red bottoms and a Birkin. My wife has expensive, one-of-a-kind jewelry that she's probably never even worn before. For real. <laughs> All that Von Cleef, my wife's got that too. <laughs> she's got designer purses she's never even taken outside of the house. And I'm flexing a little bit. I'm flexing a little bit. Why am I doing this? Because in my mind, almost all women want the lifestyle that LaBea has. Well, how did she get there? How did she get to the point that she has a husband? And I'm not going to give my credentials just know that i'm able to take care of my wife and she does not have to work a husband that can send her on a trip with our son to columbia she doesn't have to pay a dime she doesn't have to worry about anything she needs something she says guapo can you send me five hundred thousand dollars sure absolutely now i'm i'm gonna let him finish but what are you all hearing what I'm hearing is a provider, a man that produces masculinity. I'm hearing that. What else? What he is painting, right? The picture that he is painting is, guess what, ladies? He's not a broke dusty. You all love to say things like, oh, well, those black men that, you know, want to explore different options and deal with foreign women and all of that. Those are the men that we don't like anyway. They're the rejects. No, they're the men that would make great husbands and the foreign women are taking all of them. He is giving this foreign woman the life, the lifestyle that a lot of you black women would love to have. He is the type of brother that y'all would want to be with. Let's be clear and stop lying. 
trying to cope. A lot of us lie so that we can cope with the reality of we missed out. We messed up. We blew it. When will y'all snap up out of this and get it together? I am just, I really feel, I feel for y'all. It's going to be so many of y'all that are lonely by yourselves. And I know you're going to say, well, we don't care. We don't want them anyway and all of that. But the truth of the reality is a lot of you all will absolutely need these men. You will on all different levels, mentally, physically, emotionally, and especially financially. He said his wife does not have to work. A lot of y'all are working two and three jobs and doing OnlyFans and still are coming up short. This could have been your husband, but you blew it. Let's continue. She's able to take a trip within the trip. She wants to take our son to the beach for a photo shoot. I'm talking about get on the plane and go to the beach, Santa Marta. My wife wants for nothing. She asks and she gets it. Well, how does she get here, ladies? Because my wife understands how to answer the question, what do you bring to the table? And even though she was a six figure woman, she never led with her money. Even though she has more formal education than I do, she never brings it up. You know what? I don't even know what LaBea's degrees are in. I know she's got them, but I don't even know what they're in because she doesn't try to throw them in my face. Ladies, my beautiful modern women, my lovely ladies of the black community, my sister girls, shout out to Skylar DeRuin. You telling a man that you've got your own, your degrees, that you make this amount of money, that you have this type of career, is essentially like you saying to a man, hey, guess what? I know how to fight real good and thinking that's going to impress him in a relationship. It's not. You may as well tell the man that you want to take you seriously, that you can throw hands with the best of him. Do you know why it does not matter to us? Ladies, come in here. Get with me now. Do you understand why this matters not to men? Because that is not your role. Just like it's not your role to throw hands and and to protect a man or protect the family physically, it's not your role to try to flex your your, uh, degrees, your money. The men that really got it, the men that really know what they're doing, don't give half of an F about your money or your degrees. I love my wife. I appreciate the fact that she's willing to contribute financially. She's actually been studying for the last year privately uh, to get back in the workforce remotely, back at six figures again, because she wants to contribute. Wait a minute. So these foreign women are not only submitting to their husbands that just so happen to be black men, right? But they're working. They want to contribute. And a lot of them are more educated, have more credentials than their man? Y'all have some tough and heavy competition, ladies. Because according to a lot of us sisters, uh uh-uh, I'm not doing anything 
But what does this illustrate to you? This illustrates to you that men want to take care of the women that want to take care of them. Y'all get these likes up. Some real talk from your little big sis. Y'all should be alarmed, highly alarmed. Y'all should be afraid. These women are creating heavy competition. A lot of us sisters, we would feel like we were too good for him. And yet he's the type of husband to where you wouldn't have to work anymore. Oh, I'm too good for you. I got too much going on, way more than you. I make more than you, whatever. At least you would think you did. But from what I'm listening to and what I'm hearing for, from El Guapo, he's making a lot more money than that woman, even though maybe she has more credentials than him. You know what I'm saying? And even still, with her not having to work, she wants to work so that she can pour into her family. Wow. Y'all know what else is so troubling to me? And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. What's also very troubling to me is the fact that when it comes to us sisters, we would go above and beyond for, let's say, outside men than our own black men. Let's run the clip. When I became a manager at a lot of these establishments, one thing that I came to learn, and it broke my heart, I'm not going to lie, it really has affected the way my judgment towards certain people. But um, nine times, well, eight out of ten times, you see a sister come in there, a black woman come in there with a white guy, she's footing the bill. That blue, like... They had me convinced with all the videos on social media that, yo, these white men are out here killing us. They're taking our best women, blah, blah, blah. Till I got into these, in, till I got into this industry, started working and my dude, a lot of times, eight out of 10 times, you see a sister at an upscale restaurant with a white guy. She's footing the bill. It blew my mind when I, when I started learning this, when I started seeing it. See what I'm saying? We don't mind contributing. We don't mind pouring into. We don't mind being the very women that these foreign women are being for black men, for other men. It's very, very hypocritical. And honestly, I think a lot of y'all do that to try to stick it to the black man. When in all actuality, you're just making yourself look foolish. If you were to act right with the black man, you wouldn't have to do any of that. You wouldn't have to foot the bill. You wouldn't have to pretend to live this soft girl life. You could actually have that. All you had to do was respect him. Love him, honor him, pour into him, and you wouldn't have to do anything that you did not want to do. But let's continue. And again, like the video. But if she never does, it really doesn't matter. I appreciate she's willing to do it. But the key to why she lives that soft life with the red bottom, with the Birkin, with the two and a half carat diamond, all that stuff. Y'all seen her ring. All of that. All of that. It's because she knows what she brings to the tables. The number one thing that all men want a woman to bring to the table. Peace. P-E-A-C. Not the piece of tail that you've got between your legs. These other women, they know what to bring to the table. They don't walk around saying, I am the table. 
They don't walk around bragging and boasting about how much money they have and what their credentials are and how much better they are than these men, how they don't need them. No, they want to add value. They want to bring him peace. That's the ultimate thing that men are in search for. Do we know how to bring men peace? Because these foreign women, they got a down pat. Do you know how to listen to your man, pour into your man? Or do we only know how to make a man feel like he's less than? Y'all better wake up. Because it is getting real in the field and it's only going to get worse. And before long, a lot of y'all are going to take a look around and you're going to have nobody there but each other. And that's going to be tragic because guess what? A lot of y'all are in the same boats. So you're not even going to be able to come together collectively and help one another. How am I going to help you if I'm struggling right, right along with you? That's not going to work. And a lot of the women, let's be honest, they're secretly jealous of one another in competition. So you're not going to get the love and support that you really need. So all the way around, this is an epic fail and an epic L. Wake up. And I know a lot of these foreign women love to say things like, well, we're not specifically talking about, you know, black women when we say that we're so much better and we're not specifically talking about black women when we are referring to us foreign women being at this caliber and all of that. But the proof is in the pudding. The writing is on the wall. They are absolutely talking about us sisters. Why? Because it's our men that they are recruiting. It is our men that they are targeting. We're looking around and we're seeing a lot of our brothers with foreign women. And again, you all, these are not the broke dusties that y'all love to complain about. These are the top notch, top tier men, black men that we need. Wake up before it's too late. Do something about it before it's too late. Genuinely do something about it. Don't just try to fake it till you make it. Learn how to really truly embody the traits that these men are looking for so that you can have the beautiful life that you are seeking. Make that man's life more enjoyable, more easier, more peaceful. And I promise you that would be the best decision you've ever made. But as long as you are walking around entitled and selfish, feeling like you are the one and only prize, it's going to be a rude reality check when you wake up, baby girl. And you see all of these other women living the life that you thought you should be living for yourself. Get it together. But anyway, I thought I would come on here and really bring y'all this alarming news so that hopefully you all can get a little bit shaken up because these foreign women are getting a lot more bold with, you know, their recruiting, okay? They're not being shy about it. They are absolutely letting these men know, look, I'm nothing like those women over there. Come over here, right? Love me. Take care of me because I'm going to take care of you. Y'all let me know what are your thoughts, opinions, and feedback down below. Um, guys, are you a passport bro? Are you thinking about becoming one? I hope not. But if you are, I cannot blame you. You know, um, I just really hope it's not too late. I really do. Because like I said, you all, as a black woman myself with a brilliant black man, I would love for more sisters to be able to experience this. But Hey, if we keep fumbling, what else can you do? But I love y'all. I respect y'all. I thank you all so very much for pulling up with me. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say about this. Y'all go ahead and again, like the video, share the video and subscribe. And I'm going to see you all in our next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.